Tonight, a strong showing of support at a Gay Straight Alliance assembly at a Virginia Beach high school. The event garnered lots of attention last month after the school district postponed the rally supporting the LGBT community. Then your size Joe Fisher attended the rescheduled event at Cox High School live outside the school tonight with how it all went. Joe? Well, Tom and Ida, hundreds of people turned out for this assembly titled Love is Love. This was originally supposed to be an in-school assembly back in early December, but the school system canceled it after raising some objections to having such an assembly during class time. Tonight, organizers with the Gay Straight Alliance say tonight's event actually allowed them to spread their message of peace and acceptance, unity with a lot more people. Look at this. This is great. A message of inclusion at this assembly that drew a large crowd at Cox High School. Things that were okay to say or do years ago are not okay anymore and is kind of offensive. The auditorium filled with students, the community, even faith leaders. And we believe that everybody, no matter who they are, where they are in life's journey, is welcome with us. Reverend Kimberly Hodges is pastor at Lynn Haven Colony United Church of Christ, who recently posted this message of support that someone distorted. It's disheartening that somebody would mess with your property and mess up the sign and the message that you want to give to the community. She hopes the person responsible is listening to the message of unity and acceptance at this Love is Love assembly put on by the Gay Straight Alliance. It was really beautiful and it was really amazing to see a whole community come together. The rally was first planned as an in-school assembly last month, but the district called it off one day prior, objecting to having it during class time. The cancellation sparked controversy from the community and and LGBT groups like Hampton Roads Pride. When we allow these student-led production to become controversial, I fear the message we send to students is that they are controversial. They are not. The GSA says membership has doubled since the controversial cancellation. The student advisor says at a time of bullying, both in school and online, and incidents of exclusion, having the GSA to open the dialogue towards understanding is essential. This is the time in their lives that they're really laying the groundwork for who they are as adults. And the Virginia Beach Police Department's LGBTQ liaison also spoke here tonight at Cox High School. The school plans on having a school-wide assembly featuring many more school groups, including the GSA. A, that is going to be a school-wide assembly about unity and acceptance to be held on February 24th. We're live in Virginia Beach tonight. I'm Joe Fisher, 10 on your side.